one hand. This is the only part you can't get wet. Anything else from the cord out, the buttons, everything you can get wet. Do you guys clean off the clothes before you send them to yes. sterilization? Yes. All you do is rinse them off with water, enzyme cleaner, and that's it. And you get the buttons wet, everything. This goes in here. And you just lock it in like that. You can put the clothes back here or on here. Okay. Um, no matter which one, or it can go in any form. Any port. Choice is yours. Okay. You can spill anything on this council. It's all tough on coated thanks to the space program. I know years ago oh. the um, Russian astronauts used to stay up in space. I worked at Cape Canaveral for years, a year at a time. And when they came back, they were taller and thinner because, you know, because of lack of gravity, the inner spaces between their vertebrates got bigger. So then they decided, because there was atrophy of the muscles, they put an ultrasound machine on the shells and looked at their hearts when they were up in space. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. But anyway, so Teflon's from the space program. You can spill coffee on here, blood, anything, and it's not going to hurt anything. Okay? This is a drop in code. And we can pass this around. And how will we clean that? Pardon? Same Before thing. All. Okay. how they use the robotic probe in the OR. They hook it up to the robot, and then and the guy in the robot can be in the same room, and they can be in another room, they can be in another office, believe it or not. But they have the CT, they have the live ultrasound, and they have the robotic. You can pass this around if you want. There you go. And what happens, we developed with Dr. Porter this little fin on the back, like a shark. So he can grasp it with his progressors and he can manipulate it. So now they can take part of the kidney out and see the whole thing. When they do partial necrosomies or partial liver resections, they can use this with the robot. So this is the drop in. And what I've done, because it can get very confusing, is I've laminated the types of probes. So when you call down the S, call S C -P -D, SPD, you, when you say, I want the BK probe, you got to say which one you want. So this is going to be in your rooms and on the machine. Sure. Is this special drapes to go with the probe? No, no, no. They're, They're all sterilized. sterilized. Okay. So you don't have to put anything over them. Okay. They're all sterilized. Well, except for prostate biopsy, you might want to do that. It depends on the doctor. But we can pass these around. These are your different probes. Just pass it around there. So the very top one is the drop-in. That's for the, ro the robot. Okay. The next one is the neural probe. It's a small probe, and it fits all, most all burr holes for neurosurgery. It can be used on the spine. It can be used in the brain. Uh, we work with brain labs, so we fuse the MRIs with the ultrasounds, and then we can, you know, because once they open up the head, there's a shift in the brain. But anyways, this neural probe is one of them. You have two probes in everything except the neural probe for turnaround time. The third one is the prostate probe. They're going to be doing prostate biopsies. And the last one is the brachy probe, where they go in and they put uh, seed implants in the prostate for radiation therapy. So these are your one, two, three, four probes that you have. And these will be in your rooms and they'll be on the machine. So when you call down, you'll get the right probe. Okay? Um, I haven't had a chance to do all the labels, but there's only seven labels. I know a lot of you don't use it for three or four months. And you get stuck, you know, hitting the buttons. You can put a sterile, clean drape over this. See through and hit the buttons. The doctor can. I think you have a remote, don't you? I haven't checked the invoice yet. You can give that to the doctor. <laughs> but anyways, there's only seven buttons that you're going to be using. So like seven days of the week, seven buttons. You've got... Um, This is the most sensitive part of the transduction. I'm going to put some gel on it. Yeah. Whenever you look at the ultrasound, I always have them turn down the lights so they can see better, because they always forget to do that. But anyway, so if you guys can see this, can we turn down the lights here? You can see it better, too. Can we turn down the lights a little bit? 
So one of the buttons you're going to be using is this button, and I haven't had time to label it yet. It's called Gain. It only amplifies the signal. It makes the picture or the image darker or lighter, like that. So you just turn it, okay? And today, you know, I'm going to leave this probe on here. If you want to practice on your products and just play with the buttons you can, you're not going to ruin anything. And it's better to do it while I'm here so if anything's broken, it's on us. Okay, this is the depth. See these centimeter increments here? You can make the picture larger or smaller. And what's great about this machine is they use the gaming technology for quickness. So the image quality, the color sensitivity is incredible compared to most ultrasound machines. Okay, so you have those two buttons that you turn. If they want to see color, all you do is push it. Okay. Turn the color off, push. Now be labeling these machines. If you want to freeze it, you freeze it, and you can print it here. And it usually takes a picture up there too, but I haven't put any information in. Since you guys don't put any information, we won't go over that. Is it okay? So anyways, um, so now you've got your picture to print out. Now, in the past, in California, I've taken the images, put them on a USB drive, and put them in Epi. So we're going to try it here to see if that works. I've also got instructions that I've laminated how to do that. Or else you can just scan this and put it in the chart, whichever you want to do. But you have options. Pardon? It's about a change of paper. That's the most important. Oh, yeah. that is very important. Why you run that because it's a Sony printer. And it has to be plugged in to use. To open it, grab it. I always keep extra paper here. And hopefully we all do the over in the bathroom, not the under. Anybody do under? Mm -hmm. Just put it over like a toilet paper. Put it in. And it's all set to go. Okay? So everything is simple, simple, simple. Um, let's see here. Do they ever annotate any of the images? Or measure? Yes. Yeah, they, yeah. Okay. So when it's measured, you have to hit freeze. I'm going to put this button here, measure. You hit the measure button. You have a cursor. You bring it up. You put it where you want it. Lock it in with select. Bring it like that. Hit select. You can do every measurement. You have to hit the measurement button. You can do up to six measurements. Okay? When you unfreeze it, they all go away. So usually our presets are really good. And no matter what you've done, if you want to go home like Dorothy, you hit the home button for two seconds, and you're right back where you started. You can never mess up. So no matter what you do, you hit home for two seconds and you're back to where you started. Okay? Um, anything else that the doctors ask you to do that you can think of on ultrasound? So seven buttons, seven things, they're all labeled. If it's not labeled, you don't use it. How's that sound? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's about it, really. My number's on back here. Right. You're Could gonna be over how to put patient information in there? Okay, if you do want to put patient information in, I'll put this number one, hit this button, and the screen comes up. You can automatically start typing numbers in right here. You can hit the tab key like on your computer. I'm going to put my name in. Hit tab again. Or you can take the trackball and go up here and lock it in with these keys. Now I'm going to go over these keys in a second. So once you've got the numbers in, you can take images and save it to the hard drive. You can save over 20,000 patients on the hard drive. Um, and then you go down, and for, if you're doing prostate biopsies, you can put the PSA in there. And then it will calculate the density for the doctor so he doesn't have to do it on his machine and then look it. So then when you get that information in, you just hit start exam, and you're good to go. And we have information up here if you do want to put the label in. So I'll put number one patient information there in case you do want to save it to the hard drive. You can print without the name being on there, but you can't save it to the hard drive. And you can always pull up old images if you want, also. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to go over some of these buttons here, just in case. Everything to the right of the to the right of the trackball is to the grayscale. This is all your color options. If they ever want Doppler, does anybody ever want Doppler here? Or they want to see if it's an artery or they want to hear it? Oh. Good. Good. I call this uh, Disneyland, I call this the Twilight Zone. So you never go to the Twilight Zone except pushing for color. These two select keys are the same, like the computer, and this is your trackball. This is your freeze, this is your 
print this is save it to the hard drive and this is your home to go back to restart it so i'm going to be labeling everything and if it's not labeled you don't use it these are always in the center and that is about it thank you so call me ahead of time if you're going to be doing a case so i can be on standby for you but i'd like to be here whenever you do the first case in any area and just call me if you want to chat <laughs> so again, we have two. Of, we have two of every single one, other than the burr hole one. We only have one, and they are sterilized with the sterehead now, not the ethylene oxide. So it should be quicker for us turnaround time if we have multiple cases in a row or whatever. Also, all the leak testing and cleaning is done downstairs, so we just have to wipe it, and they do all the rest downstairs now, just for these probes, not the systems or anything. No, and no bags. No bags over the probes, no sterile gel. If you want to, excuse me, for like neuro, you might want to put some sterile saline on there for good contact <clears throat> or any other probe. But really, the only one that they will use gel on will be the for the prostates, just to put it in smoother. And other than that, you don't bag these probes, they're all sterile, okay? So that's it. Thank you. <laughs>